can show you an ab rollout. Uh, sometimes we'll see these done with ab wheels, which are quite cheap. You can get them pretty much anywhere. You can get more sophisticated devices like these glute ham rollers. They're a little smoother. You can grip a little wider and, and challenge different shapes with your shoulder. I'll show you both. Um, I'll also show you one variation that we can do. Um, don't know the official name of it, but I'll tell you what I call it. Let's just start here. So the key with this is we want to work about the hip. We want to do an anti-extension exercise. Um, a lot of times people think about the shoulders and they're trying to make these nice flat shapes here, but they forget about the hips and then they're kind of doing a downward dog with the butt in the air. Um, we want to flatten the hips. The shoulders will take care of itself. You want to go to a point of tension and kind of own that range. You go too far, you're going to feel your low back kind of jack up a bit. And it's because the front side here, the abdomen, a lot of hip flexors and flexion in general counteract that extension through the back. So they kind of work together. If you can't hold that anti-extension, the low back extenders kind of turn up on you. So just do a set of five here. Generally, you do like five to ten. Again, reps don't really matter. It's just making the shape, kind of bulletproofing that shape, um, and maybe subjecting it to some volume. So we'll start here, nice neutral grip. You can play around with your thumbs. I'm just going to let it out, flatten my hips. That's about it for me. Bring it back. Not all the way. We want to keep tension there. Good. Alrighty, so we can put that aside. Look at the ab wheel. So if you have some shoulder impingement or anything like that, sometimes the ab wheel can give you some grief because we're kind of pinching the shoulder in this direction. Um, so it creates a lot of pressure through that joint. So that's why that, the other ab wheel I had there is quite nice, although a little more expensive. So this should suffice for most people. All right, so same thing. Okay, and it's actually a little more challenging. It's a little less stable, so you might not be able to go as far, but same principle applies. You want to flatten the hips, bring it back. Not all the way back, because we want to keep tension there. As soon as I bring it back to my legs, I'm not going to feel that tension. And one more. So definitely feel the shoulders a little bit more working, um, but both are great. All right, so that's the ab wheel. Um, I'll show you one more variation. I call it the stanky leg. It's my mid-2000s influence, hip hop. Um, but we're gonna put one leg out to the side and we're basically challenging what, we're, what angle we're hitting the, the front side of the body. So instead of front on in that sagittal plane, we're kind of getting a little bit to the side or like at an oblique angle. And you'll feel that reflected in this exercise. So I'm gonna go kneeling. Put this guy down. I'm going to put one leg out to the side and find something comfortable. And I'll do a few less reps here. I'm just going to go three and three. So I'm going to roll out, bring it back. Okay, so I feel a little bit more rotation there. We'll go to the other side. Definitely harder on this side. Okay, so it exposes you, puts you in a less stable position, and that should make it a little more challenging, okay? But compensate with a little less volume. And those are ab rollouts.